Who is the next witness? Sergio Ruiz Leva. Okay, continuing on with day five. And we're well into the morning now. And I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is the third witness of day five. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you back. Yes. Thank you. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your name? Sergio Liban Riz Leiva. And can you... Sergio Liban Riz Leiva. Sergio Liuban Ruiz Ruiz Leiva. Sergio Liuban Ruiz Leiva. Can you spell your middle name? L I U V A N. Sergio, were you tubing with a group of people, including Nikolai, on July 30, 2022? Yes. Are you in that? Are you on that image somewhere? Say. Yes. Where? I have the yellow shorts. And white shirt and white bucket hat? Say. Yes. Do you remember a time when you were tubing when Ariel's phone got lost? Say. Yes. Do you remember a discussion about looking for the phone or just leaving it? Yes, and at that point, at some point, the, they decided they didn't have to look for the phone because the insurance would pay for the phone. Did Nikolai go look for the phone? Yes. At some point after he went to look for the phone, did you hear Sandy yell something about he's in trouble? No. No. Did something catch your attention downriver? Well, there was a group of people there. What about it caught your attention? They were around Nick. Was there a time you saw Nick down in the water? No, because there were many people. It was a large group. Did you ever remember seeing Nick interacting with a blonde girl? No. No. Sergio, do you remember telling Recuerdos? police there was a girl, if I'm not mistaken, with a black leotard? See? Si. Yes. Who said, go, 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 go to Nick? I saw her when she was around that group because uh, she was the easier to identify because of the black leotard. But I was um, far away from that group. I, I just didn't move from my inner tube. Do you remember telling police that Nick pushed her? I don't remember that. Sergio, do you see this transcript? Yes. In about the middle of the page, do you see where you said the woman yelled, go, 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 and then Nick goes and pushes her? Yes. And you were, you were far away, you said? Yes. Sergio, is that you in the yep. top left? Yes. And it, if you know, is that about where you were when you were watching what was happening? I was uh, right by my inner tube. Do you remember telling police that you walked about five meters from your group and then someone told you to stop? When I uh, was going to move, my sister told me not to move. That She said, don't go to the other side. Just uh, And that's why I returned to my inner tube. Did you see the girl in the black, the blonde girl in the black swimsuit fall or stumble backwards when Nick pushed her? No, I don't remember. Do you remember if it was actually a push or if it was a punch or something else that Nick did to the blonde woman? No, I don't remember that. Sergio, do you see on page 15... You described that it was after Nick got out of the water, and that's when the girl said, go, 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 and he pushed her. Do you see that? Oh, I see. Oh, yes. And then below that, you reiterate that it was after she said, go, 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 that Nick pushed her. Do you see that? I see. Yes. From your memory, when you're telling this to police, you thought, that was the last thing that happened, and then Nick walked back to your group. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> and you thought he was down in the water before the girl said, go, 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 and he pushed her, right? Yes. Sergio, have you ever seen the video from this incident? No. No. And so you were, you were trying to recount 
what happened to the police as best you could remember? Yes. Did it happen fast? Yep. yep. Was it difficult to remember in what order things happened? What I remember is that at the moment when we lost the telephone, Rosie started looking for the phone by the edge of the river. Yeah, I stayed there because they were talking about it and they said, just leave it, the insurance will pay for it. And I don't remember anything else except uh, that Nick took the snorkel and started diving in there to look for the phone. And then I left. And then that's when I saw on the other side the group of people. That's what I remember. You, you can see the transcript where you describe seeing more to law enforcement. I didn't see. I, I just heard things. But you can see in the transcript you told police multiple times that when she yelled, go, 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 Nick pushed her. Because I heard the voice of a woman. I, don't, I am not sure if it was her. You described her as a blonde woman in a black one-piece swimsuit? Yes. And I see it here, yeah. And when you described seeing Nick down in the water... Would you look at the size of that jelly roll? You, you described that you believed they, they must have hit him, or you thought they must have hit him because he was down in the water. Do you remember that? Or do you, did you say that to law enforcement? No, I didn't, I never said that. Do you remember ever seeing anyone hit Nick? No. When Nick came back, did Nick, do you, did Nick come back to the group at some point? Yes. As he was coming back, did you see people that were injured? Yes, I saw them, yes. Did you see blood? From the place where I was, I could see the girl with her hand over here and you could see blood, yes, but you couldn't uh, distinguish it that clearly. She was the one asking for help to call 911. She was asking uh, my sister, my sister to call. And I didn't want to uh, continue looking, I just turned around. Turned away from the injured person you saw? So I, so I didn't see any of those things, yes. So that I didn't see what was happening. It was something that was hard to watch or see? Yes. When Nick came back, did you hear him say anything? No. No. Did you hear him say, they took my knife? Nettie asked him what happened, and he said that they had taken the knife away. And then I asked Nettie, what did Nick say? And she said that they had taken away his knife, and we didn't talk about it anymore. Did you see Nick saying anything or hear him talking anymore after that? No. No. What was Nick like? What did he look like? How was he acting? He looked pale when he got close to us, and his eyes wide open. He just sat there, and he didn't talk anymore. Do you remember when he came back? and got back to the, your group, him putting on his hat and jacket? Yes. Do you remember telling police you didn't look at Nick too much because you didn't dare to look at him? I didn't dare, but uh, he was also in the back of the inner tube. I was in the back. Do you see where you said? Yes. I didn't look at him because the truth is I didn't dare to look at him? See. Yes. Do you remember how long you guys stayed at the sandbar? I don't remember the time. Do you remember seeing police come? I know that Eric went looking for them. Eric went to look for the police and guide them. After Eric came back to your group, did your group leave? Yes. What do you remember of the time when you guys were tubing to the exit? Well, Nick, Nick put on his uh, hat and then his jacket, and we didn't talk about anything else. Nobody talked. Everyone, everyone was quiet. I don't have anything else. I coño, the fat lawyers are so boring. I actually fell asleep twice while I was editing that. Not kidding. Mr. Trophacy? Yeah. Sir, you, do you remember giving an interview to the police on August 3rd? 
of 2022? Yes, they went to my home. And was your memory of what happened better in August of 2022, or is it better today? Well, it was better back then. I'm very nervous now. Okay, so when you spoke to the police in August, on August 3rd, <coughs> about five days or four days after this happened, fair to say your memory is better of those events than it is right now? Same. Yes. And when you were interviewed by the police, uh, there was a Spanish-speaking officer that was talking to you, is that right? Same. Yes. And you tried to answer that officer's questions as truthfully as possible, is that right? Same. Yes. And you said that was at your house? Same. Yes. Uh, a less, was it less stressful than it is here today? <coughs> Say. Yes. And that officer had asked you questions about what happened on, on uh, July 30th of 2022. Say. Yes. I want to ask you if I can uh, about that date and maybe some of the things you answered uh, when you were speaking to the officer, okay? Say. Yes. I'm going to start with this. You knew that Nick Mew had a knife with him that day because you saw him fixing his shoe or his sandal. Is that right? Same. Yes. So before any of this incident happened, he had been using that knife to fix something, right? Same. Yes. And you knew that Mr. Mew or Nick was... Um, looking for a phone that your group had lost. Is that true? Say. Yes. And you also knew that Nick, on that day, Mr. Mew, was with your group, and your group included his wife. Is that right? Say. Yes. Can you look at that picture right there, sir? Mm -hmm. You had mentioned you're in this picture, correct? Is it okay, Judge, if I approach? Yes. Same. Same. And you see Mr. Mew here? Yes. This is the, the, the shirt that he's got on. Is the same shirt you saw him wearing at the end of the day, right? Same. And this is, yes. And this picture is taken before you guys head down the river. Is that right? Same. Yes. And he's... Wearing sunglasses in this picture, right? Say. Yes. Okay. So, um, is it fair to say that when he got off the river, he looked the same or close to the same as he did when he got on the river? Say. Yes. Now, you know that Nick is looking for this phone that had been lost, that was Ariel's phone, right? Say. Yes. And you were also aware that he had brought snorkeling gear and goggles with him on that day. Is that true? Say. Yes. You had seen him on that day snorkeling around the areas where you guys were tubing. Is that right? Yes. At the beginning, that was the case in the morning. When you speak to the officer about the specific incident, meaning what had happened, you recall telling that officer that you saw a group of people surrounding Nick. Say, yes. You told this officer that they were falling on him. Yes, when they pushed him. You told the officers that they put Nick in the middle of them. Is that right? Yes, they had him there. It, it was a group of people, and you could see that um, they had um, my friend there. Could you see Nick 
with the group around him, could you see him? No, I couldn't see him. I could just see the group. You told the police that they hit him, meaning they hit him. Is that right? Yes, when he had clothes, then they pushed him, and then they surrounded him. You remember the blonde girl with the black suit on. Is that true? I don't remember, but I have an idea. I don't remember her. Do you remember telling the police that you heard the blonde girl telling Nick, go, go, go. Yes. You told the police that Nick pushed her. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Did you see the rest of what happened? No. No. You see Nick walking back to your group, though. Is that right? Yes, when he was coming, yes, I saw. You described him to police as being white, pale, and scared. Is that right? Okay. Yes. You described him as having wide or open eyes. Is that right? Okay. Yes. I think you said that Tatiana told you don't go over there. Is that true? Yes, my sister. So Nick, to your knowledge, what you know, Nick was by himself against that other group. Is that right? Sí. Yes. You said to the police, as far as you know, no one in your group went over to help him. Is that right? No, nobody moved. And only at the end, Ariel and Eric went over there to see what was happening. But that was after it was over. Is that right? Sí. Yes. So in terms of assistance or help, Mr. Mew was by himself. Nick was by himself. Sí. Yes. Did it appear to you that, <coughs> Nick, that Nick was in shock when he came back to you? Yes, he, he looked in shock. I said in shock and or... Uh, uh, something had impacted him, yes, in shock. Do you remember waiting some time before your group moved on down the river after the incident? No, I don't remember that. When Nettie came back, wh when he came back, Nettie said, let's go. Do you remember telling the police that you waited until you were told to leave the area. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember, but if I said that, it must be right. You were asked by Attorney Anderson about a statement that you said that you didn't dare look at Nick. Do you remember that? Sí. Yes. He wasn't threatening toward you, right? No, no. No, no. He wasn't being aggressive or angry toward you, right? No. No. You said the group was pretty quiet once he got back? Sí. Yes. So when you said that you didn't want to look at him, it wasn't out of fear of him, right? No. No. No, no. It was because everyone was in shock? Yes. We didn't know what had had happened. Uh, so we were in shock, yes. We didn't know about anything of the, that incident. I'm finished here. Thank you. Mr. Anderson? A few times, or a couple times, you said Nettie. Nettie. Who's Nettie? I call him uh, Nettie, but I'm referring to Ernesto. How do you know Ernesto? From the time I was in Cuba. And our friends? Yes, we were neighbors in Cuba. How long have you known Ernesto? He, well, he basically, we grew up together. Close friends? Sí. Yes. How long have you know, had you known Nikolai Mew? When I came to this country, I met Nick Mew. He worked with Nettie. 
Y lo conocí en casa de Neti. So I met him at uh, Neti's house. So, what, is Nick a friend too? We were acquaintances. We met uh, one, twice a year. Are Ernesto and Nick good friends? Yes, they are. Defense asked if Nick looked like he was in shock. Do you remember that? Yes. What you told police was, I don't know if he was scared or worried. Because you see somebody when that person is worried, you can see in his face. Obviously, you didn't know what he's thinking at that time. No. No. You don't know if he's in shock or worried about what just happened? No. No, I just saw he was white, he was pale, his eyes wide open. And I just want to clarify, defense asked you about the interview with the Spanish-speaking detective on August 3rd at your house. Think? Yes. That transcript I was asking you questions about, that's from that interview, right? See? Yes. And I just want to make sure I understand what you saw. You saw Nick push the blonde girl and Nick, someone push Nick. Do you see anything else besides that that you remember? No. No. You said in your interview you didn't dare look at Nick. And defense asked if that was because the group was in shock. Do you remember that? Yes, I was nervous. You didn't say about anyone else that you didn't dare look at them, right? No, I only talked about me. I, don't, I didn't know what the other people were thinking. When Nick came back, did you see any injuries on him? No, no, my no. No, I didn't notice. Nothing else. Mr. Trophacy? Sir, I'm going to just ask you, you were just asked about what you saw. And you told police that you saw Mr. Mew get hit, correct? Okay. Yes. You saw people surrounding him. I saw that group of people. I don't know if they were surrounding him. I saw a group of people. You agree that you told police they were surrounding him, though, right? Okay. Yes. You told that officer that they, those people jumped on him, correct? Okay. Yes. And you told them that you saw Nick on the ground, correct? Yes, when they pushed him. Thank you, Mr. Ruiz. Leva, you may step down. Well, I don't think that guy's testimony was very good for anyone, but he really seemed to get under the bovine attorney's skin because Anderson was getting extremely frustrated with that guy. But his story did change a lot since he spoke to the police. But I can't exactly say why because the ways in which his story changed seemed to be just as bad for the defense as it was for the bovine attorneys. Anyway, we're going to see one more witness before we end this video. Uh, Mr. Anderson, uh, who's next? Tatiana Ruiz Leva. Ms. Ruiz Leva, please come forward. Uh, please face the clerk. Raise your right hand. She'll administer the oath. Yes. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your full name? Um. Tatiana Ruiz Leiva. Tatiana Ruiz Leiva. Tatiana, were you tubing with a group including Nikolai on the Apple River on July 30, 2022? See. Sí. Yes. Do you see yourself in that photo over there? See. Sí. Yes. Can you, which one are you? I'm next to Emmy. Who is Emmy? The one that is, that is right next to me, the white girl who is short, and she is Nettie's wife. Do you, do you recall a time when you were on the river that day where you saw people with bloody injuries? Si. Yes. Did you see anything before that on what led to that? No. No. And when you interviewed... When you spoke with police, you told them you didn't see anything, you weren't looking in that direction? Correct. Correct. Did you, after you saw people with the injuries, did you call 911? 
see. Yes. Tatiana, do you remember, did you have trouble speaking with the person on 911? See. Yes. Did you hand the phone to someone else? Yes, I handed it to Rossi. And then, does Rossi speak fluent English? Uh, Rossi handed it to Emmy later. Did you have any idea what happened? No. No. Do you remember seeing Nick come back to the group? Sí. Yes. Did you notice anything about him? Was he calm, worried, angry? Just normal. He was coming from the water, just normal. What was the tube ride to the exit like? Was it, were you guys talking? Was it quiet? Muy callados. Very quiet. Do you remember Nick saying anything on the tube ride out? No, nunca. No, never. I don't have anything else. Okay, I have no idea what he was trying to accomplish with this. Looks like we're just wasting more time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ma'am, do you remember being interviewed um, initially? Well, do you remember being interviewed by a Spanish speaking police officer on August 3rd of 2022? See? Yes. Do you remember where you were interviewed? See? Yes. Do you, can you tell me where that was? En la casa de mi hermano. At my brother's house. Okay. And that officer was asking you questions about what happened about three or about four or five days earlier when you were on uh, the river with Nick and you. Say yes. See. And yes. Your memory was better in August of 2022 than it is today. Is that fair? Say yes. Okay. You knew on July 30th of 2022 that at some point on your trip, Nick was looking for a phone. Is that right? See. Yes. And you knew that he had left your group to go look for that phone, correct? See. Yes. You knew that Nick was by himself separated from your group while he was looking for that phone. Is that right? See. Yes. Nick was with you guys in terms of that group, but he was also with his, I mean, his wife is in that picture. Is that right? See. Yes. So it was Nick and his wife were part of the group that was tubing. See? Si. Yes. Did did Nick appear to be in a good mood that day? He didn't appear to be angry or anything? No, he was never angry. He was just fine. And when Nick is... You see that he, ha that he has a snorkel and goggles, is that right? See? Si. Yes. And... When he's looking for the phone, he goes off with those snorkel and goggles looking, right? See. Si. Yes. Your group is waiting for him uh, to come back. You're over on the side of the river at that point, right? See. Si. Yes. You were asked by Attorney Anderson if you saw what happened, and your answer was that you didn't see anything. No, nada. No, nothing. Did you hear anything that sounded like an, uh, an altercation or a fight? When he came back, uh, uh, things had happened and you could hear the loud noise, yes. Mm -hmm. And you were asked, when Nick came back, did he say anything to you, to, to the group? Do you remember being asked that? Uh, yes, but uh, we didn't talk about anything. We didn't talk about anything. Nothing was asked. Do you remember telling that Spanish-speaking police officer that when Nick came back to your group, he told you the kids jumped me? No, no recuerdo. No, I don't remember. Everybody was quiet. So, I just want to make sure... You don't remember telling that to the officer back on August 3rd of 2022? No, I don't remember. And you described Nick as, when he came back, 
He was quiet? Sí, callado. Yes, quiet. Before he left to go look for this uh, phone, was your group talking and laughing and having fun? Sí. Yes. And when he came back to your group, the talking, the fun, that all stopped. Is that right? Sí, todo se acabó. Yes, everything was over. I don't have anything else to <clears throat> Mr. Anderson? We spoke with a Spanish-speaking detective at your house some days after the incident, right? That... Sí. Yes. You also spoke to an officer right after you got out of the river? When we got out of the river, they stopped us there, but uh, I don't remember. There were a lot of police presence. There was a lot of police presence. You, the, the officers that when you got to the exit didn't speak Spanish, right? No, it's, we didn't say anything. Nothing was said. I didn't say anything. You told an officer there, the, you heard boys yelling, help, help, help. Do you remember that? You said that in English? Ah, no, eso sí. Oh, yeah, that? Sí. I, I did, yes. Do you remember when you heard the boys yelling, help, help, help? Sí, una, una chica. Yes, a girl. Oh, was it, was it a girl who was injured? Sí, tenía su mano en el estómago. Yes, she had her hand on her stomach. Do you know why you said boys? Sí. Yes. Why? I was uh, getting oh, off, okay. and uh, I there was a group there, and the the, the kids there were uh, yelling help, help. But I was kind of far away. But that's when I called the police. When you heard the boys yelling for help, was that before Nick came back to the to your group? See. Yes. Nothing else. Mr. You know that people were injured on the river, right? Sí. Okay. Yes. And one of the people that was yelling or asking for help was this uh, girl that had been injured. Is that right? Sí. Yes. Do you know now that there were some males that had been injured? Sí. Yes. Do you know... When you heard help, if that was after those males had been injured. See. Si. Yes. So, if I if I'm hearing you right, those males are injured, then they're yelling for, or somebody is yelling for help. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I. Have. Thank you, Ms. Ruiz Leva. You may step down. You are excused. Well then. That was a whole lot of nothing. I'm really not sure what's so important about those kids screaming for help. I mean, of course they're screaming for help. They had just given an old man a beat down. And then that old man pulled out a knife and proceeded to pull off the greatest upset of all time. And after gutting several of them, they screamed for help. It's funny how no one seemed to hear them yelling and screaming in, in celebration while they were beating the crap out of an old man. Let's just focus on them screaming for help after the old man got the upper hand on them. Anyway, my voice is shot after doing all this talking, and we still have at least two more witnesses for day five. And so far, all the witnesses for day five haven't really had any new information for us. But I'm very interested in seeing the testimony of that guy that had the red, white, and blue American flag shorts on, because he was very close by when some of the stabbings happened and he was on the Nick Mew team. So I'm really interested in hearing what he has to say. But for now, I'm gonna pass out. I'll be back soon. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna to go to bed. Thank you. It had to be surgically removed and my anus was never the same again. <laughs>